Carlton, your first season in the WSL1 is over. How do you reflect on it? Um, we've reflected on it in the fact that um, we finished fourth. Um, we've had a very good season. Um, the girls have been magnificent. Um, coaching staff and everyone involved with the club has, has, has been great. Um, so from that perspective, um, it's been a fantastic season. How proud are you with the players? I know when the season start, started, many tipped us for relegation. I know, I know we thought that yeah, would be the yeah. case, but yeah. to go from that to title challenges must make you very proud. Uh, very proud. Um, the, the, the girls have been, been, been a, a pleasure to coach. Um, they're very receptive to um, the information that, that, that you give them. Um, the willingness for them to, to work hard, to learn, and, and, and they want to develop to get be better and be better players. Um, it's, it's, it's been been great and, and I'm extremely proud of them and the way that they've performed. And what about the staff? I know you've praised them a lot this season, but just how big a role did they play? The, 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 the staff have been immense and, 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 and that's from obviously from Mel Ray, um, Julie, um, Sophie, um, who are Amber who's involved, Sonia's been, 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 been immense in what she does as general manager. And, and, and everyone that's been involved, it, 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 it's been fantastic. And obviously that's helped us get to where we've got to. On a personal note, your first season with Sunderland Ladies, how did you find it? I've, I found it pleasing. Um, I've, I've, I've really enjoyed it, enjoyed every moment of, of it. Um, and I've probably developed, hopefully, as a coach and, 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 and learnt, learnt a few things. Um, so as I said, it's been, it's been a pleasure. Looking at you on the touchline, you always seem like you're enjoying yourself. Yeah. Has it surprised you how much you've taken to it and, and how much you've enjoyed yourself? No, be, uh, um, because I think the principles are still the same. Um, you're still coaching players. Um, you want them to improve and, and develop as individuals um, to hopefully come together as a team and obviously you get the performances that um, you get and the results that you get. So uh, from, from that side of it, 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 it the principles will, will always remain the same and I've really enjoyed it. Um, Again, it's making sure that we can do do this again for next year. It would be impossible to do a season review without mentioning Beth Mead. Twelve goals in fourteen appearances, quite an achievement for a twenty-year-old. That is, um, and again, Beth Beth's done magnificent. Um, she's um, obviously taken a lot of her chances. The fact that um, the team has helped her as well has been great, um, because obviously without the team, Beth wouldn't be where um, she is. So. Um, you've got to give credit as well to, to, to the rest of the team to help her create the opportunities that she had to score. And you mentioned meetings with Sonia, players going in, players coming out. Yeah. What about Beth signing that new deal? How big a statement was that for you? That's a massive statement um, and obviously with that, that, that hopefully can help us attract players because we are looking to build, we are looking to develop players and hopefully, um, as I said, we can get ourselves in, in a similar situation again. Um, so that's, that's why it's very important to have signed somebody like, like Beth with her potential and what she's done for this season on a long-term contract. Obviously Beth will grab the headlines, top goal scorer in the league, yeah. but who else out there impressed you this season? The whole squad to be fair, um, and, and I've always said in every meeting that we've had or every team meeting or, or, or after a game, it, it's, it's everyone that's needed. We need everybody because at some stage they're always going to be involved. Uh, which, which has happened obviously because we've got a small squad. So everyone's been involved, so everyone's helped get us to where, to where we've got to.